Then the next thing that I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to install the limit switches. So. So the only thing that I'm going to do right now is uh, the limit switches. I already wired one for here, which is the smaller uh, limit switches. Uh, limit switch. This one is the small uh, limit switch. Uh, this one is for the Z axis because uh, the, the the large uh, switch that I have is uh, too big for the for the uh, for the Z axis. So this is the the large. Uh, mechanical uh, limit switch that I'm going to use so this one is too large for the Z axis but then I'm going to use this one for the X axis so I'm going to put on either side and also for the Y axis I'm going to put somewhere here in the side so there's gonna be two of these uh, limit switches then uh, this is gonna be installed in this part then after that one uh, I think uh, we're just going to try if uh, this whole thing is gonna work with the limit switch with the motor with the motor and also uh, I think uh, the next part or the the continuation for that one is uh, we're going to install also in this uh, video the 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 chain that I'm going to use to drive this whole gantry uh, backwards and forwards and also the the this side so yeah, so I think uh, let's start for the wiring for the limit switches. So now guys, uh, I'm just going to install this one first. So this one is for the top of the Z-axis. So that's the hole. And then for attaching it into this cover, this one is the cover for the Z-axis. So as you can see, there's a, uh, what you call this, there, uh, there's a bolt screw inside. So that's gonna be it in here. So for that one, I'm going to put some nut. Okay. So the same in the, this one. There you go. Okay, so that's gonna be the the Z axis. So now uh, I think I'm going to go and install this one right here. So the other one is going to be installed on that side. So for this one, I'm also going to use the same bolt but uh, longer. So the mechanism or the 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 action for uh, this one is that just like this. So this one is gonna be uh, steady. So the this uh, whole assembly for the uh, Z axis is going to go just like this slowly. Then this one is has its kind of a wheel so that it can uh, slide. Then as you can hear it, there's a click, just like that, like that. So the same way as the other side, uh, I'm going to do or install something like this. So now let's start with this one. So I'm just going to use this drill to mark the where I can drill the hole. So now I'm going to drill this one through so that I can attach a bolt or I can also tap uh, this one here so that it would be easier for me to install. But then uh, before I'm going to do that, I'm just going to check if uh, the, the belt or the linear rail or the uh, yeah the, the belt and also the, the linear rail is not on the way so that I cannot uh, damage the, the inside of this one so I'm still I'm just going to check this one right now so I think I'm going to remove all this one because I cannot uh, really uh, do pull uh, this one here because uh, the, this might uh, damage the whole uh, straightness of this cover so I'm going to uh, remove the so i'm going to remove the bolt on the other side so that i can slide this one out and also uh af before i'm going to do that is i'm also going to uh pre-drilled or uh, pre-determined the, the holes on the other side so that it would be on a one go 
So now guys, I'm just going to remove this cover. So this is the cover of this uh, x-axis. So now I'm also going to drill the holes in here. So just stay there. So and guys, uh, it's already determined. So yan yung gagamitin ko. That's the one that I'm going to use for the holes. So uh, from the bottom through here. So this is going to be installed like this underneath. Let's uh, put uh, this one back. So now guys, let's uh, put uh, this one back into here. So here it's going to be inside is this plate for the z-axis so that it won't fall down. Okay, so that's fine for now. So the other one next so let's move this one back to that side so that i can install the bolt this one is a little bit heavy right now because the motor is already engaged though i didn't connect it to the uh, driver the back side so this too is going to be in the front side just like that this one so as you can see this one are longer so i'm just going to cut this one, that one after i've done installing this because as of now i don't have any more of that one So now all I have to do is uh, tighten this one, so just going to use pliers for this one because I wasn't, I cannot put any, anything inside. So now guys, I uh, already fasten this one, so I'm going to cut this one after uh, I'm done installing this uh, cover back to the uh, X axis. Okay. 
the other side again. Let's go. But I can still move this one. So that's tight now, so I'm also going to tighten the, the other side, so uh, this is going to be wired on the, so I'm going to wire this one into the normally closed, so the normally closed is going to be this two, this one, this one, and uh, this one, so I'm just going to continue this one, and then uh, I'm also going to uh, connect the other one So, ayun guys, uh, na-install ko na back itong uh, cover for the X-axis. So, the next thing that I'm going to do is since I'm going to install the the limit switch for the uh, Y-axis. So, it's just gonna be on th this side. So, yeah, let's go. So, what I am doing here is that I'm uh, fabricating this uh, plate. This one is a aluminum cladding. There's gonna be a plastic in the uh, uh, sandwich with this aluminum. So it's gonna be put just like this. Then the limit switch is going to be on uh, both edge or both ends. Then it's gonna be attached through this uh, hole to the main uh, plate for the uh, linear block. So that's the only thing that I can uh, see or how to install this one, this plate without uh, drilling a lot of holes into this. Uh, uh, linear uh, black plate so yeah so I'm going so I'm going to continue this build so I'm almost done but then yeah so for this other uh, limit switches uh, this is not gonna be the same uh, wire because uh, I don't know I haven't seen the, uh, mo, uh, the other remaining wire that I have for this type of wire here so I just use uh, this smaller wire because I think this one is just enough because this one is just for switches. So yeah. Now let's uh, put uh, this cover back. I'm going to connect this one into the main uh, plate now. Then uh, I'm going to connect everything. So now guys, so we are already done with this limit switches. So I'm now I'm going to uh, attach uh, this one into this linear plate li linear block plate then now i can use this uh, 6 mm screws this one then after this one we're just going to try uh, this one if it, it will not move or it, it is going to be uh, sturdy enough for uh, this limit switch tight tight then I think this one is solid so I think if I give it a pass so this one is going to be the one that I'm going to use this setup then I'm just going to rearrange or reorient uh, this lever uh, pointing uh, down so uh, I think that's good so now uh, the, the next thing is going to be this part here so we're going to install the chain and then on the other side of both end of this uh, linear rail frame I I'm going to uh, install the, the tensioner for the chain and also the plate where this uh, this uh, limit switch is going to hit so yeah so that's what I'm going to do next then let's go